Amy. Because of your big mouth and assuming the worst, you almost got me killed by Tails' anger. And got one of my eyes dislocated. <sighs> so would either one of you like to tell me why Tails felt the urge to kick the living daylights out of me? said that and you know what happened after that. Amy, have you been spreading any more tall tales around? Okay, where's the baby at? Amy, Amy you, you have got some explaining to do. do. Seriously, we're doing an I Love Lucy reference. And also, if I'm not fighting, I'm not going to have to sort on my back. <sighs> I guess we're going to have to deal with damage control now. Come on, you three. Let's get this over with. Wait, so there is no baby then? Hey, I just feel like, whatever happened to that Alaya car? Thanks for the man and no one will take him from you. Commit the transfer. So this is what our cat body looks like. I like it. Oh my, is that what my voice sounds like? That's gonna take some getting used to. Now, it is time to and it is hot. Uh, ah, why does hands make this look so much easier? Okay, time to do a roll call and see how good we did. Amy, did you take care and square everything with Sonic? <laughs> I thought Sonic that I might have been at least a few things that I said about you and Cosmo. Okay, with that done, that takes care of Sonic, Shadow, Knuckles, Mighty the Armadillo, Honey the Cat, Big the Cat, and Rouge the Bat. Is there anyone else you were telling these fibs to, Amy? I guess that's a good thing, considering Sue was from the future and he would know instinctively if you're lying or not. So, good on that. Wait, how do you know that about Silver? You two never met before. Um, uh, hey look, it's Sonic in the tornado. <gasps> I don't see a tornado. Oh, my beloved Sonic, silly. That was just a distraction. He's gone now. Hmm, I wonder what exactly it is hiding. Yeah, people, right? They always have something else to hide. People? Oh, oh sorry. I meant to say hedgehogs. <sighs> Damn it! How could I make such a stupid mistake like that and just blurt out that I know Silver when I never even met the guy? Ugh. Seriously, it's getting harder and harder to keep my true identity a secret. It's just a matter of time before they find out I'm not actually a hedgehog. <sighs> uh, excuse me, dear. Oh, right. I have to do the scene with these two now. Well, better get into character, then. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Can I help you two? <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that as well. Oh, this just a simple misunderstanding. Already been rectified. Oh my goodness, Silver. We haven't even properly introduced ourselves to this person. My name is Blaze the Cat. All right, and I'm Silver the Hedgehog. And I'm Edge the Hedgehog. It's a pleasure to meet you two. <laughs> Well, Blades, I didn't think you would fall for me that fast. And you are resurrected to guide him 
to this world by some creatures called guardians. <laughs> we knew we would show them a lot. Just because he's actually a human? Well, I mean, you do still have that gripe against Princess Elise. What the heck was that? Let's find out what that actually was. Okay, guys, I think we're heading close to that crest site. Uh, make that crash is. Oh, this is where you went to uh, uh, Amy, Cosmo, Tails, uh, listen, uh, th the reason I uh, ran off was because, uh, uh, I left my oven on. Yeah, yeah, I had to go back to, uh, turn it off. Yeah. It's okay, it's we know everything now. N know what, exactly? We'll explain it later. Let's just first explore this crash site. Eh, uh, these escape pods don't look like a booby trap or anything. Who puts a booby trap on an escape pod? What the? Who the heck are you? Hey, I'm booby! Uh, I think it's time to go back to Alea now. I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, a bit duck. I can see them right over there. What's wrong, Osmo? It's my mother and sisters. They're alive. Oh, that's just great. More competition. Well, they think they're going to steal my death for me. There you go. Another thing happened. Well then, maybe I can help you with your love problem there, Missy. Dr. Eggman, no way. I don't want nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Fair enough. I'm sure one of those females will make a fine wife for her someday. If you are lucky, maybe you get to be a bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. Fine. What's your plan? Huh. Of all things today, who would have guessed that Cosmo would have a family reunion? Well, good for her. It's a bit early here. I, uh, I'm going to stop you right there, Blaze. I totally understand. You simply lost your balance and you fell on top of me. Nothing more. I understand. Okay, now I'm starting to think you're doing it on purpose. Get away from my ass, you horse! Uh, Ed, do you know that woman or something? What? No. Why would I know somebody that crazy? Oh, now that's not nice. I thought you would remember your little AI program. Given physical form, of course. Oh, yeah? But, what the, 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 what the, the, how the heck did the layer get a physical form? Oh, simple. I created a little drone to gather DNA of several different females that you come in contact with. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the DNA of those three females or that cat. Because I already transferred my consciousness to this body, so I can be with you, Ridge. Huh. Looks like Alea got a little more up Amy than anyone else, it appears. Now that the formalities are done, it is time to start eliminating the competition. Starting with that blue hairy girl. Very simple, Alea. I simply thrust controls over to me. Eggman, I thought we were partners. We were, and now you are my hostage. 